Hello, I have got the September Fairy Loot unboxing box, box to unbox for you in this unboxing. Here it is. I cannot believe we're in October by the time you're watching this. I don't know how that's happened because I think, because I was away for the first two weeks of September, I feel like I didn't exist in September. I just don't feel like I had September, weirdly. So the fact that we're already at October is kind of strange for me to wrap my head around and not in a normal, oh wow, that month went so quick kind of way. Like in a, I don't actually know how that's possible. But anyway, I've got the September Fairy Loot box for you to open today. I am a rep for Fairy Loots. So if you'd like to receive 5% off the first box in your monthly subscription, you can use the code I do believe in fairies at checkout. I'm feeling all the cozy autumnal vibes at the moment. So I'm really hoping there's some kind of like autumnal themed items in here. <laughs> the theme for September is Invisible Truths. And I can already see that there's a blanket in this box. We're classing that as an autumnal cozy item, by the way. This is, it's a dark shade of magic inspired. It says Astravas on it and it is designed by Forensic and Flowers. Wait, which way around? That way around? that way around. I am so excited that we get another book in this world. My edition hasn't shipped yet because there's been a delay on the shipping of it and I'm just sat here like, please arrive. Although I'm reading so much horror in October, I don't know if I'd read it this month anyway. But anyway, here's a blanket inspired by V.E. Schwab's A Darker Shade of Magic. Okay, next item. We have got something that I think would have come in very handy for my travels. <laughs> at the start of the month. These say infantry, healer, riders, and scribe. Ooh, are they fourth wing inspired? They are fourth wing inspired. These are travel bottles designed by No One Designs, and they feature all four quadrants. These would have been so handy like a month ago, but these are so good to have. I just, these kind of things, when you travel, it's just useful to be able to decant everything. So I like those a lot. Okay, this is one more chapter, Reading Light. It's designed by Blanca Design. Is this one of those book lights or is it like, something else okay I'm excited. I'm excited this sounds like a nice cozy item what did you put this over your book hang on do i need to put a battery in this i need to put a battery in it wait hang on hang on i'll be back okay so i'm assuming you clip this like, onto the front of your book or something we'll find out we'll find out oh it's the wrong okay hang on i didn't look at what battery it needed <laughs> i got a double a not a triple i'm just gonna bring them all over here <laughs> Okay, are you ready? Wait, that didn't do anything. <laughs> Why didn't it do anything? Did I put them in the wrong way? I don't think I did. The irony is I need a light to be able to see what I'm doing here. Plus, yeah, plus, and then plus, and then plus. Hey! Okay, hang on, let's look at how this works. So I guess you've got your book. You don't want any like bigger lights on over the top of you. So you put this across the page of your book and it lights it up. Can you tell? Hang on. I, I feel like because there's direct light coming on to me, you're not gonna be able to tell so much. Hang on, that's it on. And that's it off. That's a pretty damn good idea. I like that a lot because the lighting in my bedroom is not optimal. In my lounge, I've got really good lighting for reading, but in the bedroom, not so much. So I, that's not the item. That's the book, well, not the book. That's a book. This is the item. <laughs> On top of it, it does say one more chapter. Good item. Interesting item. I like that. Okay, we have got maybe a pin, a raven pin designed by No One Designs. I'm assuming this is inspired by the Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Arter. Where's the spoiler sheet gone? Yeah, inspired by the Raven Cycle series by Maggie Steve Arter. And there is also a foiled bookmark. This is Red Rising inspired and is designed by Liz Art Zardonix. Oh wait, there's loads. Hang on, there's loads of them. <laughs> Oh my god, they're so shiny, the light is getting them perfectly. There we go, so we have got four bookmarks. These feature Darrow, Mustang, Severo, and Victra. And I think it is time for the book. Oh wait, no, hang on, tarot cards. The tarot cards feature Addy as the Ace of Moons and Luke as the Two of Moons card. These are from The Invisible Life of Addy LaRue and are illustrated by Ars28. Now it's time for the book. Okay, so the book for September is If I Have to Be Haunted by Miranda Sun, which sounds like it's got some supernatural stuff going on, which is, is good for spooky season. I'm really enjoying the faded out haunted there. Let's have a look at this edition. We have got beautiful stencil edges. Let's have a look under the dust jacket. Those end pages are beautiful. We've got a printed on art design and 
by the looks of it, a reversible dust jacket. Back end pages. Cara is just trying to stay on top of her classes, excel at her extracurriculars and prepare for college, which means not speaking to the dead, an ability she inherited from her grandmother. Ghosts are trouble and Cara doesn't need to add to their problems, to add their problems to her own. But then she stumbles upon the body of Zach, the super popular but very newly dead high school golden boy in the woods. And guess what? He wants her to resurrect him. Cue trouble. <laughs> that sounds like it's gonna be quite a fun and chaotic time. Let's have a look at the special features of this book. This Feral Exclusive has an exclusive cover, a reversible dust jacket by Saltese, a digital sprayed edge with a solid sprayed top and bottom, artwork on the hardcover by underscore Panprika, and foiled artwork on the end papers, a digital signature, and exclusive bonus content. There is also an author letter with a character print on the reverse side, also by underscore Panprika. So here is the author letter, or the character art, and the author letter. This sounds like the perfect light october -y read with the ghost element but not taking itself too seriously by the sounds of it. It sounds like it's going to be funny. Yeah, full of heart, humour and thrills. So it sounds like it's going to be a good time and perfect for the spooky season. So this is the September book for Fairy Loot. My favourite item, I... I, I like the bottles a lot because they're very practical, but I have to say it goes to this reading light because I haven't seen anything like this in a book box before and I think this is genuinely going to be really useful. I haven't taken the the plastic sheeting off of it. Hang on a sec. There we go. Thank you so much Fairy Loot for sending me through this box and as I said if you would like to receive 5% off the first box in the monthly YA subscription you can use the code I do believe in fairies at checkout. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.